Hello boys and girls, it's Owen here, and today we're playing some Rogue Galaxy. The last episode we beat Jupiter Suki McGonnell. We're now heading back to that woman behind the desk, I can't remember what her name is. But we're now going to go to her to try and get our, re our travel visa finally renewed. So that being said, I'll see you guys once we are there. Hi! Welcome to the Galaxy Corporation! They solved the problem with that terrorist, and the mainframe's back up and running! I'm ready to process your requests now! Oh really? This time for sure? This time for sure! I mean, come on, that is my job after all. Duh. This is all we need. Please, can you issue us a new galactic travel visa now? Absolutely! What have you got? ZR-KJ1701, the Dorgan Ark. Looks like the category of this vessel is a free-sailing freighter. All right, and there we go! Now you're all set! That's it? That's all it took? Do it fast and do it right! That's the motto of the Galaxy Corporation. We look forward to serving you again! Wait... I have two cards here. What's this? Oh, that's just a little present for me. Member number 78,500 is a bit high, but what can you do? <laughs> I don't want it. Please take it back. I really don't like this girl. I find her so annoying. Well, aren't you lucky. Thanks for your support! I believe we are now heading back to um, the Dagonaut. So we can actually finally leave the rad. I actually cannot remember what planet comes next. Number number I... Uh, hmm. Sorry, I just stopped listening to Jester for a second. Um, yeah, I can't remember what planet happens next. I know there was something to do with the water planet as well. But I cannot remember if that's a planet you have to find on your own. That's not part of um, the storyline. That's not part of the main storyline. But we'll find out what we have to do when we get to the ship, I suppose. Hmm. Now this is a good-looking ship. I like it. I like it. Hey, what are you doing here? I'll be on the most wanted list before long, right? My house is surrounded by soldiers. I have nowhere to hide. So, I decided to become a crew member here till things die down. Oh yeah, says who? Says me, that's who? Jupus is a vital part of the Dorganark team. This is good. This is great. So he bribed you. Mm, this is so good. You folks are lucky to have me as a friend. It'll be nice working with you. Ow! Hey, what was that for? Hmm. <sighs> so yeah, we've got another ally on our team. As I said before, I do believe you get you gain one ally each planet you visit. I could be completely wrong about that. But that's the understanding that I currently have. The Master Hacker. I just got an achievement. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. New little bastard. What is this? Some kind of gathering of social misfits? Why the hell are we recruiting all these weirdos? Who called in who called in the blue guy? You can shut up. We know what what the hell you did last episode. No, the episode before that. Everyone aboard is feeling a bit tense at the moment. This is where my amazing people skills come in handy. Watch me palgate pal everyone with my dazzling charm. I don't know what that word said, I could say it completely wrong. What have you got to say, Muncha? The captain will be awake soon. Make sure you show your proper respect. Alright, may as well head down to the um, lobby. Don't know if it's called a lobby or not, so I'm going to call it the bar area just before we head off to the deck. What do you have to say, Jupus? No one wants me to come near me. Oh, no one wants to come near me. 
I get it. They must be overwhelmed by my char charismatic presence. No, you just tried to kill us last episode. Why are you looking at me like that? This is all for Jupus. I had nothing to do with it. I really don't like that lizard. If he does anything stupid, I'll twist his skinny neck into a knot. Can I go up to the dock, or is it blocked off now? It can't hurt to take it easy once in a while. I can go up, but it doesn't appear to be anything here, other than the save point. So what I have to do next has to be on the main deck. Everyone looks so relaxed. Because they're in space, there's nothing to happen at the minute until we land on the planet unless we get attacked. Which, to be fair, could happen, considering it happened on the second episode. Muncha! How many people oh, are Steve. There on this ship? The atmosphere on the ship sure has changed as of late. Mr. Rogue, why don't you relax and go for a stroll around the ship? I did that already. Where do I go? It's about time the captain woke up from his nap. That is true, he's been asleep for about for you eight for bloody ages now. Let's see, we made about six episodes and the guy is still asleep. He slept way longer than usual this time. Tough life, eh? Tough life. He's been asleep for six episodes. We've been in jail for half of that time. How, what the hell has he been doing? But there's still something we have to do around the deck before we can continue with the main story. What that is, I have no idea. But let's walk around and see if we can figure it out. Don't have to speak to you again, do I? No one wants to come near me, blah blah blah. Okay. Let's speak to the bartender. Maybe I'll go take a look outside. Jupiter seems to be really enjoying my rich Jurakan roast coffee. But I just heard Jasta say that we have to head outside. So there is definitely something outside that I missed. I'm gonna take another quick look around. If not, I have no idea what the hell to do. Do I speak to you, Davis? It's because the captain's influence are all out here trying to help people. Believe it or not, the captain's actually a big softy. That was it, so to speak to you. Hmm? Oh, there you are, Mr. Rogue. Hurry to the bridge. The captain has awakened from his nap. Finally! The captain? You mean Dorgan Goa? I get to meet him? In fact, I believe he has specific orders for you. Ah, Desert Claw! Taking orders straight from the boss, huh? Everyone's on the bridge already. You'd better get moving. Well, let's go to the bridge. The captain is finally awake. Dorgan Goa wants me? Well, apparently you are the legendary hunter, so why are you really surprised that he wants you to give you orders? Not to mention the very first episode, they told you that they are here specifically looking for you. Hey, Jaster. Quite a promotion, huh? I hear this next mission is all yours. Papa's usually not one to trust people. Good for you, Jaster. Good for you. <laughs> Maybe, if you're the real deal. All present and accounted for? My most distinguished pirates! Jorgen Goa, our great and honorable captain, has finally awakened! Company, fall in! <laughs> the captain is on the bridge! I finally get to meet him, Dorgan Goa. I was out for a little too long this time. Well, can't very well sleep forever. 
It's time we go out and fulfill my ambition. So, did we ever find the Desert Claw? Yes, he's right here. Didn't you hear me? Where's Desert Claw? Uh, uh, um, right here, sir. Desert Claw is actually just here. What? This kid? You... 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 Take the Desert Claw? What? what? <laughs> but he's got to be just as terribly strong. There's no way. How could we be wrong on this? I know what Desert Claw looks like. And this snot-nosed little whelp don't look like Desert Claw. You tricked us! Good grief! Jaster, is it true? No, I just... I'm sorry. I meant to come clean sooner or later. Oh my goodness! Uh, what a frightful mess! Tie this imposter up and toss him overboard! Papa, wait! Jester might not be Desert Claw, but he's our friend. Please, Papa, don't punish him. What? Kisala? Why are you sticking up for this scurvy dog? While you were taking a nap, Jaster was a tremendous help to us. A true pirate never forgets his obligations, right? That's right. And Mr. Rogue's strength is for real. Captain, I guarantee without a shadow of a doubt, it'll be good to have Jaster around. We're begging you. Oh, let him stay in the crew, okay? Oh, now you have to pour it on. <clears throat> what a bunch of suckers. Captain! I can't hear myself think! Shut up! Scurvy dogs? Exactly whose ship do you think this is? You bunch of selfish crybabies. Jaster, was it? All right, then. I'll give you another chance. Let's see if you can prove your usefulness. Papa! That's our captain! However, if you screw up, it's curtains for you. You got that, Jester? Yes, sir. I understand. What is it that you'd like me to do, Captain? Hmm. But before that, all your dogs, clean out your ears and listen good. I'm gonna tell you of my top secret plans that I've been keeping you in the dark about till now. Really, Captain? Hmm. Well, this should be entertaining. So you're finally going to tell us. It is rather odd not even to tell your crew the reason for their voyage. Come on, Papa! Out with it! My ultimate goal is the legendary lost planet of Eden! Eden? Oh, I've heard of that! It's a phantom planet that vanished long ago! Yeah! And they say it holds enough treasure to allow anyone to rule the entire galaxy! Yeah, that's the one. And they say that on that planet, there are people there that live forever. You're not telling me you really believe in all that hogwash, are you? I remember now. Eden suddenly vanished from our galaxy some 10,000 years ago. Supposedly, they were even more advanced than Zerad. It is the utopia spoken of in legends throughout the galaxy. <laughs> you mean that old fairy tale? You can't honestly be serious. Shut up! I'm dead serious. 
It'll take one hell of a mission to be able to find the path to Eden and actually make it there. And that's why I ordered you to scout out the very best hunters. In other words, we are going to strip Eden bare of all its spoils. The galaxy's foremost treasures will be mine. Moncha! Aye, aye, Captain! Deadlights on the screen, mates! I take it you all know about the Geo Record. It's the galaxy's top adventure log, containing every kind of treasure. According to this, Eden has an undeniable tie to the Great Tablets. Great Tablets? Ancient Tablets. We've been looking for them for ages. I get it now. That's why you've been so obsessed with them. If my intuition is correct, the secret that will open the path to Eden is hidden on the Great Tablets. But before we can get to Eden, we've got to get our hot little hands on those tablets first. According to my sources, a huge ancient tablet was excavated from a mine on Vedan just the other day. I don't know if this is one of the tablets, but it's certainly worth investigating. The mines are controlled by the Zax Morardi family, and they ain't pleasant to deal with. <laughs> Listen up, Jaster. You're going down to Badan to find out if that tablet is legit. Aye, aye, Captain. <clears throat> Succeed, and I'll permit you to stay. That's great news, Jester. I was a little nervous for a second there. Huh. You're not getting soft on me, are you? <laughs> Didn't you notice? Something special about him. Of all the warriors I've come across in my life, this is only the second one that's given me this feeling. Is that right? And who was the first guy? Desert Claw. The real one, that is. <laughs> So this is Vidan. Over 40% of the galaxy's metal ore and minerals are mined here on Vidan. The vast resources available here make it one of the top mining planets. Looks kinda dark. Uh-huh. The sun never rises in this mining sector. This place is also known as the City of Eternal Night. Pretty romantic, don't you think, Jester? City of Eternal Night. So? Where do we start? Well... We'll have to go to the mines if we want to check on this tablet. Most likely they only allow authorized people to enter. We should start off by heading into town and try to find a way into the mines. Stand near the helm of the ship in the door Ganax control room and press X to open the galaxy route map. Select the planet you wish to visit and the Dorganite will take you there. That's pretty neat. As you can see now guys, we have officially been discovered as a fake. Which is obviously going to happen at some point. 
We almost got kicked out of the um, crew. Obviously, it wasn't going to happen, otherwise, this would be a very short game. But I'm going to um, play a little bit longer, probably until we get into the mine. At which point, then, I'll end the episode. Because I haven't really done anything yet, it's just been one massive um, cutscene. So I'm going to show you how this panda looks, and then probably end the episode once we get into the mine, as I said. Let's keep this pace up. So we have to jump onto the train to get into the city. Yeah, it seems to be it's telling me to go that way. All aboard. The train is bound for the summit station. Hop on? Sure. Getting Final Fantasy 7 vibes from that cutscene. North of Minor Station. We better collect some information first. I'm glad it's telling me where to go instead of forcing me to figure it out, which is a good positive. Otherwise, we'll be here for hours. Pretty Come on. Tumble town. I don't bite. My name is Burton. I'm an explorer who came all the way out here to examine the ancient tablets they discovered in the mine. Hold on a second. You're here for that too? Oh, ho! so you know about them. I bet you're here gathering info yourselves as well. In that case, how about we swap data, eh? Um, well, sure, but we don't have much yet. Well, so far, I've managed to learn that the miners hang out in a place called Angela's Bar. I reckon if we go there, we'll be able to find out something. The only thing is, I have no idea where the place is. How about you? Angela's Bar? Huh. There he is! Uh-oh, this isn't good. Wait! Burton! Huh? Hey, you guys! You're in cahoots with that old coot! Huh? What do you guys want? What's going on? Mm, I don't like this. Hey, come on! How did we get involved? Oh, we got a fight coming on. Just shoot him, this is gonna take a while. Where is, is it just me and Kisala? I don't think I've seen that move just yet. Oh, I did it again. I'm gonna click the top one. I do not have any healing potions. That is unfortunate. So that's definitely something I need to invest in. How dare you defy the Marathi clan? No! Oh, if you know what's good for you, you'll get lost! Uh-oh. Now we've gotten their attention. 
That old guy mentioned something about Angela's bar. Maybe we can learn a few things if we go there. All right. Let's try to find it. Alright uh, guys, I'm going to be ending the episode here, as the episode is getting a lot longer than I anticipated. Looking at my audio, my microphone is picking up something really loud, I have no idea what it is. But if you're hearing like a static vibration sort of noise, I do apologise for it, I do, know what, I do not know what's causing it. But I do hope you enjoyed the audio in this game, and I've got to say I'm using my new microphone now, so I hope you do enjoy it. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, take care, thanks so much for watching. Alright uh, guys, this has been added, added on to the last episode. Um, as soon as I went to save my game, this popped up, so I'm going to show you guys what it is quick. Meanwhile, sorry. Dr. Picacho? Dr. Picacho, can you hear me? Yes, the connection is excellent, Steve. And I'm glad to see that you seem to be doing well, too. Of course I am. That's because of your brilliant design, Dr. Picacho. <laughs> so you've learned how to do flattery now, huh? That's quite an accomplishment. Listen, I'd like to make a small adjustment. Do you mind if I take control of your circuits for a while? Not at all. Be my guest. <laughs> Mark, what's space like? It's fantastic, and totally different than I pictured. It's like the stars go on forever and ever. I really have to thank you, and Steve. You're welcome. And the great tablet. What's that? It's this really huge treasure. With the great tablet, you can go to this paradise called Eden. So now we're all looking for it. Eden, huh? I wish I could see it in person. I'll tell you all about it. I'm glad. I'm looking forward to that, Mark. Just leave it to me. Gosh, I can't believe how excited I am. Huh. I don't recall that bit at all. So is Steve Mark then? Or is Mark's memory inside of Steve, which is why he's functioning and getting um, emotions and I stuff? Where this is. I have no idea. But I'm going to here guys, as I said. Um, as again, I do apologise if you can hear static in the background. But I'll see you in the next video.